Woo boy. These two light heavyweight performances. Alexander Rakic ended Jimmy Manawa's top 15 hopes effectively forever. Guys, I have been speaking about this light heavyweight division for a long time. And I've had a lot of people say, oh, it's not there. It's not there. It's These guys aren't ready. Cut the shit, man. These guys are ready. You've got Rakic, Spahn, Krut, uh, Reyes, Walker, Santos, all is new blood. All is new blood that have emerged as prospects in some uh, the first five. Maybe not Santos as a prospect, but you've had Santos and Smith both step up and uh, really become top flight guys over the past year. Then you've had Rockets, Span, Crew, Reyes, Walker as prospects. You got Ozdemir and Glover's former title challengers, Anderson, Blahovich, Latifi in there as well. This is a good, fun division now. Jimmy Manor is not going to be a part of that division in that 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 level anymore. Jimmy Manoa has now not won a fight since March 2017. He's been knocked out three times. He's lost four in a row. Uh, you could at least say every single fight that Jimmy Manoa has had has been an exciting one, except for maybe one. Uh, I guess you could argue the Blahovich fight wasn't, but I'm talking like, 10, 11 fights, and they've all been good. They're exciting. They just ended him being unconscious. Alexander Rakic step, uh, stepped in, set up a head kick, and just flattened Jimmy Manoa. Knocked his ass out dead. Amazing head kick. And Alexander Rakic is, is a name that you look at and you're like, all right, he's ready. He's ready to compete with uh, top 10 guys. He is. He's there. There's no more time to wait. <laughs> that was that was an amazing performance. Like how do you how do you look at that and not think that he belongs in the top top 15, top probably 11 or 12. I would probably have him go up against Glover to share next. Really see if he can compete there. Now, uh, Glover Teixeira, L Latifi, Anderson, Ozdemir, they're a bit of the old guard that are that are kind of there. Uh, Cormier, he, he's going to be out of those rankings soon. He ain't going back to light heavyweight. Uh, Gustafson's about to be pulled from those rankings. So I look at Rakic and I'm probably like, man, he's a fringe top 10 guy. He, uh, he should probably be ranked at about number 11, 10, 11. Manoa, I agree with Joseph Boza in the chat. See if you can do it at heavyweight. If you can, give it a go. If not, hang him up, man. 